There are now nearly 129,000 confirmed coronavirus cases in our state. Hospitalizations are trending upward, but the statewide positivity rate has dropped slightly. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Denise Co. President Trump is urging Congress to pass COVID relief for airlines and stimulus checks after calling off neg negotiations on a relief package on Twitter yesterday. Annie Rose Ramos shows us how airline workers at BWI Marshall are left in limbo as this pandemic delivers blow after blow to that industry. Well, there are just a few folks checking in here, and the lines are virtually empty. Without federal aid, this industry faces months of economic pain, and that's no exception for workers here at BWI. Before COVID, Khalif Morse flew in and out of BWI every month for work. Today is his first flight back. If you look around and see all the workers who are not here doing their normal job, Southwest should be packed right now. The empty airport speaks to the thousands of airline workers out of a job because of the pandemic, like Deja Green, who used to clean planes at BWI. I am a part-time worker, but a full-time mother. As federal aid runs out, thousands more airline workers face layoffs and the loss of their health insurance. On top of the bills and everything that I have to account for myself, my sister, my daughter. In a flood of tweets Tuesday, President Trump first said, I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election, when immediately after I win, we will pass a major stimulus bill. Then later tweeted encouraging Congress to pass aid. Statements causing backlash from airlines and some Republicans, including Governor Hogan, who said in a tweet, the American people can't afford to wait until after the election, as desperation among the airline industry sets in. It's a shame. People's lives, people have to eat. What are they doing? What are they going to do to survive? While passengers at BWI say they feel it's safe to fly. If it's time for you to fly, be confident in knowing that the airline's doing a great job to make it as safe as possible. And as that stimulus package continues to hang in the balance, millions of Americans' lives, like the ones who work here at BWI, don't have the time to wait. I'm Annie Rose Ramos, reporting for WJZ.